welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if things are a little bit echoey. I am in a new house and we moved in in August, but I haven't filmed in here yet. So if things are still a little bit echoey, I'm sorry. But we are doing another Pinterest recipes video. Yes, we are doing Halloween recipes. I have my purple lipstick, my green shirt, and my Beetlejuice pants and we are ready to rock and roll i have two recipes one sweet and one savory because when i did my fourth of july video four recipes was a lot and it literally took all day and the video was so long so we're gonna do one sweet one savory the first one we're gonna do is sweet because it is halloween and we're gonna make some caramel apple slices oh yeah so for the caramel apple slices i decided to do this recipe because I love a good caramel apple and I feel like they just scream Halloween and fall and they're relatively easy but when you're making a normal caramel apple you have to make sure that the apple is dry so the caramel sticks to it but if you're doing a slice of an apple which makes it so much easier because when you cut a caramel apple there's just a mess and these are so much easier to just like serve at a party um, but the inside of an apple is moist, it's a little bit wet, and so I'm worried that the caramel won't stick, which is why I decided to test this out for you guys, because if it works, I'm never going to make caramel apples the other way again, and if it doesn't work, then you don't have to ruin your party treat, You'll, you just know already. So let's go ahead and start making these. For the caramel apples, the first step is to cut your apple into wedges and then it says to pat them dry with paper towel because with caramel apples, like I said, the outside on a normal caramel apple has to be totally dry and unwaxy in order for the caramel to stick. So you want to make sure to pat dry the inside of your apples um, after you cut them so that they are also um, not wet. So I've had my apples in the freezer. And I'm going to let them thaw a little bit while I melt my caramels. Okay, so I have now melted all of my caramel and I've let it cool for just a second so it's about the right consistency for a caramel apple and I didn't have like popsicle sticks or sucker sticks or something cute so we just used toothpicks but honestly I feel like this is better because just in like a little apple slice it holds it like perfect so now we're just gonna see if it will stick to my padded dry frozen apples I'm a little bit worried still because it's thawed a little so I feel like it might be a little bit too moist but we'll see we're gonna try it so I'm gonna stand up so it's easier um, what's also hard is I'm only doing enough for like one apple so my thing isn't very full but it works you can't see it because it's in the pot and unfortunately I don't have clear pots, but it totally worked. It made a caramel apple. That's so cool. I feel like this is so much better than cutting up like a full sized caramel apple. I am going kind of quick. You do need a lot of caramels, though. I'm putting kind of a lot on. On accident. I think I let it cool a little too much, so it's really like kind of thick on there, but I could just heat it up again and we'd be good. Okay, 
okay, I have let them set up for a couple of hours and it is time to try them. I'm a little bit worried that the caramel is going to be really hard, but we'll see. Also, a couple notes. The toothpicks worked well on most of them, but they also um, fell out of one of them. And like, I went to pick this one up and the toothpick's coming out. So something stronger than a toothpick would be good. <laughs> so a sucker stick, like the recipe says, would probably work perfect. Also, I put the toothpicks in after they were frozen and you probably should freeze them in place, whatever you're using, and maybe that would make toothpicks an okay option. But they weren't great putting them in later. So we're gonna taste it. I just dipped them in chocolate. There's a ton of chocolate on there. It was not super easy to do. And then crushed Butterfinger. Okay, the caramel is definitely hard and it got stuck in my teeth. It took me a long time to chew. When they taste really good. I mean, it tastes like a caramel apple, chocolate and Butterfinger on it, you know. I think the main point of trying these out was, was it worth it? I mean, honestly, I'd have to say, yeah. I think there was like a couple of things, like the caramel did get a little bit hard. And so if you like know how to make perfect caramel for caramel apples would be good. Um, if you had actual like things, if you're making a whole batch, the chocolate amounts probably would have been easier. Like it, it definitely could have gone better. But if you were gonna make caramel apples for a party or something, these really were pretty easy and definitely is a lot cuter to grab like a little caramel apple slice than it is to cut apart a caramel apple. So I would give these a thumbs up and definitely if I was gonna make caramel apples for a party or something would probably do them this way. Recipe number two is mummy jalapeno poppers. And I love jalapeno poppers. The first time I tried them was in college and every time I think about eating them, it just flashes me right back because there was a restaurant called The Marketplace and literally every time I went there, I got jalapeno poppers. They were just so good and it made me so sad when they didn't have them. And so this is my first time trying to make them and of course I'm going to make them look like mummies because this is a Pinterest video after all. And I decided to do these because I, like I said, I love jalapeno poppers, but also I think they would be super easy to make and bring to a party and I have multiple Halloween parties every year and so it just, they sound perfect to bring somewhere that's a little bit savory and spicy but is also really fun and cute for Halloween. So let's go ahead and start making these. So the first step is to create the filling to put inside the jalapenos. So you take eight ounces of cream cheese and eight ounces of pepper jack cheese shredded. Um, so I'm going to do that and then you put them together with a green onion and then you stuff them into washed and halved jalapenos. So I'm going to take it to that step. <laughs> Really cute so far, but I feel like when they bake, 
it's gonna be a little bit messier, but I'm gonna throw them in and then we'll let you know what happens. Everyone hail to the pumpkin song. Okay, you guys, they are out of the oven. A couple of them are still doughy, but I wanna hurry and taste it because they smell so good. So I just added two sliced olives for the eyes and they look so cute. So if they taste good, they are 100% worth it. But if they don't taste good, obviously not. It's so good. Just make sure to cook them for a long time so that your pepper is nice and soft. But these are a two thumbs up. And I'm going to make them for the Halloween parties this year. Thanks for watching. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I will be filming and vlogging on Halloween in my classroom. And I am really excited because we're going to do a lot of really fun things. I will see you guys next time. Bye.